so um, on the third and fourth day uh, you know you can't keep talking forever so i think uh, that's why we made sure that we have something more to do and and also uh, the fact is that you can't do all your work sitting in a closed room you have to be out on the field and that's why on the third and fourth day we have organized tours uh, for 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 the participants to go on the field uh, see programs literally on the ground and understand what it takes to create real impact uh, we took the Swedish Institute alumni members uh, to Pune. Uh, these are members, alumni who have uh, had uh, undergone a program uh, in, in Sweden, in Stockholm. And uh, they were taken to visit Thermax, uh, who has a very uh, robust and very, very uh, committed CSR program in education. And it was simply amazing to see how those children, with what confidence and, and first generation English speakers, uh, you know, explaining to us exactly what was happening in the school what were they doing what they learning I mean it was simply inspirational and and it is a true example of uh, what is the kind of impact a CSR program can have if done right and done with a lot of commitment uh, we also visited a Swedish company Sandvik Asia uh, and you know went through their shop flow uh, which helped us to understand sustainability practices and it was amazing to learn that almost 70% of their products are repurchased back from customers and go back into recycling of their products. So I think those are incredible, uh, you know, experiences for us to understand how responsible corporates can can make what a difference to our, our world and our, our society and our planet. Uh, so that was really great. We also had a small networking to be able to meet uh, other CSR practitioners from Pune, uh, which again allowed us to do some more learning, relearning, and and also also sharing. Um, on the fourth day, we are in fact right here uh, at the RA Mill Colony right in the heart of Bombay and and it will be shocking for many people to learn that there exist tribal villages in this place uh, people always think of tribal as remote unnecessary and and you know very far off uh, the unnecessary part is still true even right here in RA because they do not have access to electricity the roads almost are non-existent and we're doing a tribal village lunch uh, which is really really great and I'm looking forward to that really delicious lunch uh, and we also did a tour right through where they showed us all the different flora and fauna and and uh, so many things and as I said this is uh, the carvey uh, flower which we were truly truly blessed and lucky to see because it blooms just once in eight years so, so it was a great experience and and we had these wonderful children talking to us about the, the environment which again is an amazing thing because that's something which you know more often than not children don't realize unless you really push them into understanding Understanding about the value of the environment. So this was a great four days and, and I, I would wish everyone, uh, firstly I would like to thank everyone who's participated at RISE 2016, but I would also welcome everyone who's not yet been a part of uh, RISE to please do uh, visit us on our website, Facebook, Twitter, etc. But more than anything else, block your dates for RISE 2017. Thank you so much.